What's going on guys? I'm going to be showing you the best competitive settings for Apex Legends. This will help with FPS and also things like visibility and just smoothness of the game and uh, making it just better to play and hopefully give you a bit of a competitive edge. So to start off, we're going to go into the NVIDIA control panel. If you don't have an NVIDIA's graphics card, I'm sorry. Um, you can try and figure out the same settings in the AMD software. I don't know if they're named the same or how it's done there. But go here first, go to manage 3D settings. Go to your apex game and you're going to scroll down change maximum pre-rendered frames to one choose OpenGL to your graphics card power management mode to maximum performance refresh rate highest available threaded optimization on and vertical sync off so that's really all you need to do in the nvidia control panel so next let's mess with some game settings all right, for the next thing, you want to open up Origin, then go to Application Settings, and go into More, Origin and Game, and turn this off. Even turn off the FPS counter. If you want an FPS counter, don't worry, you'll have one, but turn it off on Origin. Origin's overlay has weird glitches. Sometimes it works, sometimes it don't. Sometimes it affects FPS, sometimes it don't. It's just weird, especially if you have other overlays working at the same time. So you're just better off to turn it off. It's not really useful. It's not like it's Steam or anything. So turn that off completely, both things. And then once you do that, go to your library, go to the game, hit game properties. And then on the top here, hit advanced launch options. And you're gonna see a bunch of settings in here. I'm going to copy this and paste it in the description. So you can just copy and paste it into your command line. Um, you have to hit control C, control V. You can't right click in this for whatever reason, but I'll put all this whole command line in the description. Just copy and paste it. The only thing that you would need to change is this right here. Refresh. I have mine at 144. Change the 144 to whatever your monitor refresh rate is. I have 144 Hertz monitor. So mine's 144. If you have 60 Hertz, change it to 60, 75, make it 70. As far as that, the rest of these, you don't really need to do anything. The only two things you should remember is this down here, FPS max, I have mine as unlimited. So my FPS is literally uncapped. I can get as many frames as possible. Um, if you want to cap your FPS at whatever, change the unlimited to you know whatever FPS you want, 60, 120, 140, 300, whatever. Um, also, if you experience maybe a lot of stutters after entering all these or maybe crashes or really low FPS, it's because of two things possibly. The first is this command right here, MacQ mode 2. If you have issues, that's the first command you want to delete. Certain processors like it, others don't. It just depends on the processor you have. I have an 8700K. It works really good with my processor. Most processors I work fine with. So if you have issues, that's most likely why, but you shouldn't. And if you do have issues and you delete that and you still have problems, then also delete CL underscore force preload one. Those are the two commands that may cause problems, but most likely won't. So once you copy and paste this in, go ahead and hit save. And what you want to do next is go to wherever you have Apex installed. So what you're gonna wanna do is go into your Apex folder, go to CFG, right click, hit new, text document, and then go ahead and open up that text document. I'm gonna open up the one I already have. And in here, I'm also gonna put these commands in the description. So you can just copy and paste them in. Um, just to explain them real quick, these first four, I'm kind of like testing them out. Anyone that's familiar with Counter-Strike, this game's on the same engine as Counter-Strike, for those who don't know. And these are network settings that help with lag compensation and try to give you the best hit detection and connection as possible. And I'm testing these out. I haven't noticed too much of a difference, but I think they do help. So you can use them if you want. Don't worry about them. They won't affect your FPS or anything like that. The bottom five, these two settings here, Force Preload 1 and Mac Q Mode 2, they're the same ones that we entered in our 
launch options. Again, if you have issues, delete them from here as well. This game is kind of weird with settings like this. It, just because you put them in your command line, don't mean it's going to start with the game. So you have to like double up on certain commands. And, and I really don't know why it does that. So I have them in here as well. So if you end up having to delete them from the launch option command line, delete them from here as well. Uh, the other two settings you should have no problem with it's the show FPS. This is your FPS counter. Now you can either make this one or two. There are two different settings. I'll put an image on screen of what each one looks like and you can just choose which one you want to use. One is on the right side of the screen and it's more of a list and two is on the left side of the screen and it's like a, just a long line of uh, information. So you just use whatever one you'd rather use. It really don't matter. It doesn't help you any. So once you do that, you're going to hit file, save as, and you're going to title this exactly what I have. Auto EXEC. You have to name it that and then do dot CFG and then change the save as type to all. I want you to do that, hit save and it should be saved like that as a CFG file, I should say. So that's all we're going to do in your config file. The last thing you can do is when you're in your Apex folder, go to R5 Apex. This is your EXE to launch the game. And what you want to do is go to compatibility. And then depending on which user you are on the computer, you might be able to just do it here. But for me, I'm hitting change settings for all users because it's not letting me change it there for whatever reason. But you want to make sure you have Disable full screen optimizations checked. Run this program as administrator checked and hit OK. And then hit apply and OK again. And that's really all you need to do. And then the very last thing you can do, so go ahead and open up your game. And as you're gonna notice, because of some of the settings we've changed, the game's gonna open really fast. You no longer have to watch that little video at the beginning. So you're not going to go deaf before the game starts now because of apparently making the volume really loud on intro videos is what every gaming company does anymore. And uh, as you see, I have my FPS counter up top, the top right. I have my game in windowed right now just to make this easier. But um, go ahead and go to your options, settings, video. Obviously, you want to play in full screen. I'm just in window to make this easier, like I said. Um, resolution. I highly recommend either play native or 16 by 10, 1680 by 1050. If you're someone who likes stretched resolution, this is kind of stretched. It's the best you can get right now because of the black bars. I don't know why they have black bars like on the top and bottom of your screen. I don't know if they're trying to keep people away from 4x3, but it's just how it is. Field of view, personal preference, VSync off, adaptive resolution. I see a lot of people turn this on. I don't think you need it. It makes you turn anti-aliasing on. So I like to keep it off. Uh, anti-aliasing off. Streaming. I have mine at four. You can go as high as you possibly can. But for someone, if you record your shadow play or streaming, you might want to lower this a little bit because this game likes to really use a lot of GPU. So if it's if you lower this, your stream will be a little smoother or recordings. The higher this is, uh, you might get FPS drops in your stream or recordings or whatever. So lower it a little bit, but at least have it at four. And everything else is literally the lowest possible. And one bonus thing you can do, uh, you can download this program. I'll put a link to it in the description. Um, it's been around for a while now. It's safe to use. You don't have to worry about it. Um, it's used by a lot of Counter-Strike players, but basically if you're someone who likes to turn your digital vibrance on your graphics card all the way up, um, this will automatically do it for the game. So like say you don't want your vibrance all the way up when you're just using your computer normally or watching YouTube videos, but you want it to be all the way up when you play a game, this program is perfect. Um, I don't know if it works on AMD cards. I know it works on Nvidia. That's what I use on, but all you do is hit add game. You add the EXE to this area here. Once you do that, all you do is this little thing will come up, change the vibrance level to whatever you want it to be, hit save, 
and then once you start the game your vibrance will change to that percentage um, this works really well it doesn't use any cpu or gpu or anything really you can just hit the minimize and it goes down here in your tray and you're good so uh, that's all i have for this video hope this helped you guys out helps get you more fps maybe some more wins in apex whatever it may be thanks for watching please hit that subscribe button if it helped out hit the thumbs up catch you guys later